Hello, Programming 12. I wanted to show you an example of a finished product of uh, Asteroids, so you could see sort of what the expectations are for a 100% project. Um, some of the details, you know, like, you know, the zooming in and out Asteroids or, you know, particular color or font choices or whatever are entirely your own to make. Um, but, you know, spruce it up in some way, make it a little bit more than just plain. Uh, and that would be great. You know, these are examples of things you could do, uh, but I, by no means are these exactly required. But I will show you some of the things that we are uh, supposed to do. If I go to Programming 12 and we look at the uh, tasks we have to do. So we have the mode framework, which includes also sort of a win screen and a lose screen as well, depending on how the game goes. Uh, we need a UFO that's going to have certain behaviors. Uh, including shooting at you and reappearing and and dying. Uh, we're going to make sure that the you can die. I mean, not, not you, the player, <laughs> but the, the spaceship that you're playing can be defeated. Uh, and of course, we're going to have some particles. They're going to fly off when you smash into a, a bullet into an asteroid. Uh, and we got to do a reset, some kind of reset thing. Okay, so that's the that's the deal. And I'll just kind of make sure I mention these as I show you the the final product. Pardon me. Oh, it's late. Oh, and so I'll get started here. Oh, I already started colliding. I'm not going to worry about that. I collide as soon as I start. It's all good. <laughs> I only have uh, three asteroids going on here, and that's totally okay. Oh, here comes a UFO. Whoa. No, I got shot. Duh. So um, it's totally okay um, as you're testing the game. Normally I'd have like six asteroids or more, um, but this is this is fine for now. Uh, especially when we're testing, and I'll, oh, I died already. <laughs> I can't even talk about this. Uh, but hey, look at that. I did die. Maybe I'll focus in as I start here on the asteroid uh, particle. See how it explodes? There's a little like, particle that flies off of it. Um, I said several particles. I'm not sure how many exactly. And you know, you can feel free to change those up. It doesn't have to be anything uh, in particular um, <laughs> that you uh, need to, to make it look like. Um, but, uh, you know, have some creativity in that. Yikes. Oh, gosh. Uh, <laughs> it's very hard to do this video with this UFO attacking me. It's so annoying. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, so, so that's uh, the, the asteroid particles flying off. Obviously, the UFO is pretty annoying, and that's as intended. You can see that I'm getting shot by it. I could also shoot it, maybe. There we go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and that's great. Uh, the game will end if I kill all the asteroids. I don't know if I'm good enough to actually make that outcome happen. Yikes. Oh, probably not. <laughs> no. Yikes. Oh, I got sniped. Uh, but, you know, maybe I'll just go and cheat uh, and, and show you what that looks like. But you can imagine, when all your asteroids are blown up, uh, you should tell the uh, game to be over and you'll see sort of a victory screen instead. Oh gosh. Uh, another thing, and notice that there is sort of a grace period where I take damage. Um, I don't just like explode or something like that. I do have a grace period where I am, um, you know, it's temporarily invulnerable. And my spaceship does look different. Like it turns all teal. Well, well I'll just die there. Um, you know, I'll take some more damage. Go hit. So during that time, I've only you know, lost one life. But, um, you know, I'm going to be immune for a short period of time, which allows me to do something. Oh, sniped again. Um, so, so that's, um, that's uh, definitely part of it. Is there anything I haven't mentioned? I think that's probably fairly clear about sort of uh, one version of a 100% project. And, you know, feel free to innovate on top of that if you have the time and the interest. Um, the reset I haven't really talked about. You know, to be honest, I'm mostly just calling setup. Right? You can call setup from... Oh, pardon me. Oh, the game over. Um, is it a mode when I click to restart? So that's um, pretty straightforward. I, th I said 10 plus. I don't think that's actually true for the number of particles, but you know, just make a bunch of particles. Um, let's see. I think that pretty much covers it. So if you'd like to ask some questions about that, if anything's not clear, then please feel free to do the you know the channel uh, discussion channel questions. I'd love to answer more questions. And um, yeah, if you're not sure about how to do anything in particular, let me know. See if I can win this game. Here we go. Struggle. No. Oh. 
Oh gosh, I'm just taking so much damage. Mm. Well, the UFO helped me. Thank you, uh, UFO. Um, yeah, you don't have to necessarily make the UFO's bullets destroy uh, asteroids, but I thought that was kind of fun. Oh my gosh, this is too hard. Mm. Okay, here we go. Oh! I did it. I survived. Okay. Okay. Got this. Whoa, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Um, but I assure you there is a you win screen. It's it's not much different than this. It basically says you win with a, three exclamation marks uh, if you blow up all the asteroids. Um, so you can keep track of that uh, pretty straightforwardly, either by counting the number of asteroids that are in the array list um, and seeing if that value is zero, using some kind of loop to count through it. Uh, also, you could um, keep track of how many asteroids you've destroyed. For me, I know that um, my main asteroid, when I hit that, will create two asteroids, and each one of those will create two asteroids, so I can count the number of like hits I need at the beginning, and I could just, you know, see if I've gotten that many hits, almost like a score. Um, you could just kind of count up every time you hit, and when the score gets to that expected number, then you could, you know, trigger the game over um, mode to, to happen. So those are some ideas there. I hope that's clear, and I hope you, <laughs> hope you uh, are having fun with this project. I gotta say, sometimes, like, you know, just like playing the game gets in the way of, like, getting progress. You're just like, I, got, I just want to beat this, beat the UFO. So I'm just going to play it now. You can, you know, fee please feel free to stop the video. Oh gosh, I went the wrong way. Oh my gosh. No, no. Uh, but I'm going to chat one more time. You know, again, please feel free to not be watching me fail at this video game. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. No. Oh. Oh God. Yikes. Okay, I'm alive. I'm good. Oh, here he comes again. Okay, it's all about being like calm, collected, stoic. Oh, come on, I kind of must. Wah. Oh, wah. Oh. oh, come on. No, oh, jar. Okay, two more, two more, two more, two more, two more. Oh, yikes. Ugh. Okay, I got him. I did it! I did it! Victory! Yeah. And I click to restart. Uh, I'm so I'm way too proud that I beat the game. <laughs> Thanks everybody. Thanks programming twelve. Really enjoying um, teaching you guys. You're fantastic. I hope that everything is clear, and I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye.